Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. I want to do a video today on connecting an XLR microphone into the uh, XA40 camcorder. I'm going to be using for the purpose of this demo the Comica CVM uh, V020. It's a uh, lavalier microphone, a lav mic, but it is XLR connectivity. As you can see, and not only that, but the uh, XLR does require, this is a microphone that requires 48 volt phantom power. So when you've got your uh, XA40 set up, the, um, as, as if you own this camera, you probably know that the XLR ports are on the top handle. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is attach that top handle unit to the camcorder. Um, then what you wanna do, you can see on this side of the top handle, you have input one and input two. Um, I think it makes sense to connect them sequentially. So if you're only using one XLR input, I would put that into input one, but I don't think it really matters. Um, and then on the other side of uh, the top handle, you've got your controls. Uh, now this is important, um, what you're looking at here. So there's two inputs, so therefore we've got two set of controls. And the controls are line. Now I'm not sure what line does exactly. Um, I do know what mic and mic plus 48 volts are. So if you're using, uh, if you if your mic requires phantom power, you clearly want to go over to the mic plus 48. If it's just regular XLR, you want to go to mic. And if you know what that what the line does as opposed to mic, then let me know in the comment section. Um, now this is totally separate to your 3.5 mil jack, which is located in the panel on the other side. So that's where. This is where your 3.5 millimeter jack is. It's this one here, and you've got a 3.5 output for uh, for monitoring. So if you're monitoring, if you want to monitor XLR with headphones, you're going to need to get to this panel anyway. Uh, but that's where the other input jack is, just as an FYI. Coming back to this side of our panel, um, so you've got two gain trims, um, one gain one gain trim for each channel. This is really nice because you can manually. You can just adjust it with your finger. Uh, this is maximum. This is, no, this is maximum. This is minimum. So there is, you just kind of can feel out the different uh, gradations here. And um, channel one, now you've got A and M. And A is automatic, M is manual. So this is automatic gain control on channel one. This is manual gain control on channel one. I'm always going to go for manual. Um, and on channel two, again, you've got automatic, manual, and likewise for channel two, you can go between line, mic, and mic with phantom power. Now, the important thing to do, as well as all this stuff, is make sure that this guy in the middle is turned two on. And uh, this controls both channel one and channel two. So there, the on switch is for both channels. So I have it set up now for my microphone. I have it turned on. I have my gain control set to manual and I have the selector here over to mic plus 48. I'm gonna start with kind of something like this uh, in terms of the control. So next thing to do, I'm gonna turn on the camcorder. Camcorder's on. And yes, we will just need to connect now. So I'm gonna take my XLR and uh, put it in the right way. And I'm gonna try to do this with one hand. There we go, it's a decent connection. Lav mics are really easy to test if they're working because you can just do the, uh, you know, test it like this, tap on the microphone a few times, make sure that guy's nice and secure. So what you're seeing now is uh, the levels are coming in here and let's just do a test. Okay, so that's detecting from um, our, our lavalier is connected now. And if I turn this all the way down and I do my little test again, what you'll see now is we're not getting anything. See, no levels. And if I crank this, so you can control the gain just with the finger or whatever. And if I go all the way up to maximum, the levels are way too high. Even with no sound coming into the microphone, you can see it's all the way into clipping. So as I'm rotating down the gain trim, we're getting to something more manageable. And now I'm actually speaking into the, and I'm, so you wanna just kind of look at your monitor and adjust the levels on the trim wheel accordingly. A couple more things to point out. I'm gonna take the light off this camcorder just so the glare isn't on that screen. 
in the menu settings, uh, let me just use the menu settings this way. Uh, a couple of things to know about. Not there. Oh yeah, okay, audio format. So this is the first thing. You have an option between two channel and four channels. I'm gonna actually go back to two channels. And then um, once you've got an input connected, you can see channel two input here. And this you can toggle between input two and, uh, and input one. And that's just routing the audio. And you can do uh, all sorts of stuff here as well. You can do trimming, attenuation on both of your XLR inputs. But if I just get out of it now and I've gone back to two channel recording, you can see I'm still recording from the XLR. I just have uh, less channels to play around with. So that's pretty much it.